Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we will going to see how to implement a reusability in a sync API using component object. So basically in last video, we have written a basic async API where we have a two channel order request and order response. Order request is basically used to publish the message whereas order response is used to subscribe the message. So like for publish I have some kind of payload defined so like in future I may need to reuse this payload for multiple channels basically so let's consider in future if some new channel is coming and I want to use similar payload that for particular channel right in that case what you will do you will going to write a, like some channel XYZ then you will again going to define this particular payload for that channel so basically you are writing a duplication of code you are defining your payload for multiple time is there any better way I define the payload once and that can be reused across the multiple channels right we have something called a component object so let me do that so component right so this is the component object under component object I will define a message and I will give some name which is orders payload Right under orders payload, I will define a payload. Under payload, I will define what is the type of payload. It's object. Then I will define start defining a properties. And let me copy this properties. Let me press enter, control V. Then I want to make sure all alignment is proper. I think the indentation is not correct. Just I will correct that. You have a shipping address. Let me correct it. So sometimes copy paste doesn't work. So you have to ensure that your indentation is correct. Okay. So I have defined the component. Under component, I define my orders payload. Now this order payloads can be reused across the multiple channels. So I will remove this piece of code from here. I don't want it. I want to use it from components. So simply I will go to message. I will just press enter and I will use dollar ref and I will say components. Uh, I can use like dollar ref. So dollar ref can reference any component object. So I'm just referencing a orders payload uh, from my component object. Right. And if you go to publish, you can see all the data here, all the uh, basically all the fields. You can see that or all the properties that you can see it here. So let's consider in future if I'm getting any new uh, channel. So let's say order process. And I just want to publish the message to order process. I can simply use um, message and again I can use dollar. Okay, just a minute. I can simply copy this part and I can keep it here. So you can see you have a new message and I, I can use this payload across the multiple channels. So also I want to show you one more thing. Let me copy this message. So async API provides something called Open Studio. So basically you can design your API there also or you can design your async API there also. Just select the version. Okay. And I just paste it here. So you can see so basically I've created few pub which order request uh, order process and order response you can see the payload example here also you can see the payload example here also you can see the payload right so here also you can design your async API that is fine okay. so this is how you can enable a reusability for your async API using a components object I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.